Okay, so, so this is an example of a globe artichoke plant, and there's three plants here because there's suckers that will grow underneath, and I'll tell you about that later. But anyway, so this is the globe artichoke plant, and each plant usually has a couple large heads, as you can see, and off the large heads come these small shoots, and those are your smaller shoots. These are like, like baby artichokes, and they won't get any bigger. So now I'm going to harvest these babies. All you do is you take the artichoke and you cut it at an angle, about an inch below the flower. Very easy. And you can tell it's ready. It's almost, I could have picked it a little earlier because you can see how the leaves are lifting. You want them nice and tight. Because what's going to happen, eventually this is a flower, right? And this is going to all open up and you're going to get this kind of purple, fuzzy, Flower. It's beautiful. I love them. I actually put them in flower arrangements all the time. So here I'm going to go harvest another big one. Again, I cut right there and at an angle. See how I did that? Cut the rest of them. We're going to have artichokes tonight. Now this one, I probably don't want to eat it. This one's full of aphids and ants. So aphids love artichokes and those ants love aphids because they they make a honey substance that ants love to eat. And I gotta hurry up because these ants are gonna eat meat. So once I've harvested all my artichokes, I actually put them in a big tub of water because I want to make sure there's no aphids in my artichokes and no ants. So I let them sit sometimes 24 hours and then you cook them. As you can see artichokes plants, you need a lot of room if you want to decide to plant one. And the leaves are quite large and they have a distinctive shape. You see how the shape of this leaf is right here? As the artichoke um, flower arrives, you get a different shape leaf, just like this one right here. See, this looks completely different than the one down here. And you'll get all these little ones like this and inside is a brand new artichoke. And it'll reach to the sky on a big stalk, and then you'll get baby artichokes like that. Beautiful. Artichokes are quite large, and they also have a lot of leaves and debris that you need to actually get out of here. And all I do is I kind of wrestle with it, and I just pull them out. Do you see how easy that is? See? That's all you do. See that? And it's good because snails like to live under there, and you don't want to make a nice home for snails, so you try to get rid of all this debris. Yeah. And it's good exercise. I always think gardening is such good exercise. <laughs> you can't get to the gym, you garden, see? And I'm going to show you a great example of a sucker. You want to get rid of the suckers, too. Or you want to, if you want to plant another artichoke plant, you take these suckers and you just put it in the ground. So I'm going to show you how to do that, too. Now, this plant and most artichoke plants have suckers. You want to get rid of the suckers because then all the nutrients goes to the main plant and then you get bigger artichokes, right? So here's one right here, good example. A couple, actually. Now, if you want to have another artichoke plant, you just pop it off like this and you can stick it in the ground. Now, these are just leaves, so you cannot plant that. That's just the leaves of it. You see, get in here. But all these need to come out. These are all additional plants. Now see, this is, when you take it out like this, see the base of that? And you can try to do them when they're smaller too, by the way. They're quite large. I can find probably some better examples, but see, there's kind of like little roots here. You put that in the ground, a good composted soil, and you'll have another item. So this is a perfect example of a sucker that comes from the, the, the main plant. And you, you can plant this and get another artichoke plant. And what you're gonna do is once you plant it, these outer leaves are going to wither and die. You're gonna think, oh, it died, I didn't, I don't have a green thumb. But wait a while, wait about a couple weeks, and this green in the center will turn into a plant. It'll start growing and thriving. You'll have another artichoke plant with tons of artichokes. So easy.